Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today it is Christmas. So comment down below what you want what got for Christmas and what you wanted. And let's get into the video. Today we're going to be playing Ultra League in the in GBL. So let's go. Okay. First Ultra League match. We're going to start it with Swamp with the Obviously, I'll be fearlessly. Okay, so it's gonna be Swampert, Togekiss, and Ultra Tina. Well, I named my Togekiss Ultra Kiss too, so. Okay, let's go into these battles. First battle against A.M. Min. I don't know how to say that name for sure. Starts off with a Kyrum. It has Dragon Breath, so that is okay. Okay. So we're gonna get the Hydro Cannon off first, of course. Dragon Claw is a very spammy move, but Hydro Cannon hits hard first of all, and it charges up really fast. See, this Kiram double resists the water, but still did a chunk of damage with the Swampert. Swampert's a very good attacker for a water type. And also, because it also is good against electric, and most waters are weak to electric types. But Swampert can beat electric types. Okay, so... Munchot also is a very good charger. Okay, so to get to charge moves. Okay, so let's see if we can get a shield right here. I don't know if we'll get the shield, but to kill it, we would only need a grade anyways. Yep, okay. They go down, now we have to switch and vantage, but they already got one of our shields. Okay. Get Blastoise can have Ice Beam, but at the same time, it could have Flash Cannon. So I'm going to go in with Giratina, but because my... Togekiss will be weak to Ice Beam and Flash Cannon if it does have Flash Cannon. That would probably be an Ice Beam, I would think. Or oh, Hydro Cannon, okay. They overcharge, that means, guys. But they do have Water Gun much. That's why another reason Swampert's good, because it has Hydro Cannon, which hits hot. Oh, they have a Blaziken in the back. We go straight into... So good kiss and we should be able to win this. Yep, they just quit because they know we won. I think the reason they quit is they should could have won if they had the blast doors with ice beam, but I think they only had hydro cannon. So first matchup is a win. Next match, same deck. Oh guys, this will be the deck I'm gonna be using next video when I do Ultra League. It'll be Scissor. Um Venusaur and Giratina, just so you guys know that that's what I'm going to be doing for Ultra League next. Okay, I'm still rank 12. I haven't been playing that much. But now we're against a rank 11 named D. Dowie. Dowie, I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to say the names anymore, guys. Actually, I'll try to say the names, but I probably won't get them right. Okay, Togekiss, this is a horrible league. Earthquake will still do a chunk of damage, but yeah, this is a bad lead. Lead for them and us. Sorry, I was saying lead there for some reason. It's supposed to be a lead. Okay, we get a shield off of the Hydro Cannon for some reason. So, this is a chance we can get double Hydro Cannons off. Okay, we get both the shields off. I don't know why they wasted their shields. Now we have lots of lag. Okay, we're going to use one shield. But the rest I'm for sure going to save for my next Pokemon. Oh, it's an aerial ice. Okay. The charms will dig into Giratina, but I'm just going to bring in Giratina. Because aerial ice won't kill me at all. Okay, now the ancient power. Because once we get the ancient powers, it could give me the boost. That's why I saved my two shields. It could give me the boost, so for the next Pokemon, I, the Shadow Claws and Ancient Powers will be doing lots of damage. Just so you guys know, my Togekiss, as you guys just saw last 
um, match we played, Togunkiss and Giratina only have one charge move. Just so you guys know. Togukis has Togekiss has Flamethrow and Giratina has um Ancient Power. The thing I like about Ancient Power is it can give you the boost. Okay, this is a big problem. Let's see if we can get I'm just gonna stand the match guys just so you guys know. But I I'm pretty sure I lost because Bullet Punch will dig into my um Togukiss. So, let's see. Because Night Slash won't kill me, I know. Because he probably has Night Slash. But he could have Iron Head. Yeah. Not many people want Iron Head. Well, some people do. But most people want x and Night Slash. Or just Night Slash or x Okay. Okay. And then use the same deck. Going back in against Yukitoshi. 0603. So, 603 because the zero is in the front. He's a rank 11. So, he starts off with a Gyarados. Oh, okay. I can bring in Guillotine after this, after all. Because Dragon Breath, if it had Dragon Breath... I would not bring in Giratina. But since the Ancient Power is good and it doesn't have Dragon Breath, I'll bring in Giratina once my Swampert goes down. Because Swampert, unfortunately, actually loses this matchup. Okay. He uses Aqua Tail. I might charge up a little bit extra and use the Hydro Cannon. See if we can get both his shields off like on the other opponent we had. Yep, okay, both shields. I think he thought that was a sludge wave. Weak connection. We're going to let it go through. It's totally fine. This won't even kill me. Yeah, it won't even kill me, but the waterfalls will. Okay, now we have to get the ancient powers off as fast as possible. I'm going to let everything go through right now. Hmm. Okay, Giratina with Dragon Breath. Totally fine. Because, you, for me, I want Giratina to have Dragon Breath. Because, I don't resist, I don't resist Ghost, but I do resist Dragon as with my Togekiss. Because, um, Shadow Claw is another fast, is the other fast move Giratina could use. That doesn't, that's not a spammy move, like it doesn't go really fast, like Dragon Breath does, but it still does a lot of damage. Okay, I'm just going to farm him down. Now I have a flamethrower ready to go. On Oh my god, why would he, this is a perfect thing guys. First Giratina can take Venus, or second flamethrower will dig into the Venus, so it will bring it super low. See? Okay, now we just have to do as much damage as we can with the charms. Okay. This is probably a frenzy plant? Sludge bomb. Yeah, frenzy plant, like I thought. One more charm we should get in. Oh, double kill right here, guys. Now, I have the ancient power ready. I'm going to use ancient power. Guys, I'm pretty sure I won this matchup. Because I want knee shields for the Aqua Tail against Gu with Giratina, so. Unless he has Quench, that would be a problem. Or Outrage. Okay, if this is an Aqua Tail, we're good. If it's a Quench, we're not. That's not very good. Okay, Aqua Tail. Like I said, Ghost and Dragon. Well, Dragon resists Water. I'm, I forgot if Ghost does. I don't think it does. Might does. It might be, but. I said Mike does, sorry, guys. Okay, second, third matchup, we win. It's good. Right now we're going, we went two and one. Okay. Let's get that. Oh. Okay, guys, we're going to be going for those white candies, so. Oh, my God. Best buddy swamper, let's do it. 
Next match is against Pick Pin Cannon. Rank 11. I've been going against Rank 11's guys, but they could have just stalled late and they could be really good, so. Let's see. Starts off with a poly polywrath. Actually, that's a problem because even though my Togekiss is good against it, Ice Punch will still dent into the Togekiss. And Ice Punch is good against Garatina too. And Dynamic Punch will do solid amounts of damage to my Swamp Root. So, I'm going to let the first one through, but I'm probably going to shoot the next one up. Uh, hopefully, he only has Dynamic Punch because... If he has Ice Punch 2, I'll be in big trouble. Okay, let's go for the Earthquake now. Poliwrath is a very tanky Pokemon, guys, just so you know. I think we can get a shield off with this Earthquake bait. We're going to do Hydro Cannon instead. We're going to charge up to an Earthquake and get the bait. Let's see if it works. Now we have a Hydro Cannon and a half. See if he falls for the Earthquake. Yep, okay. Get off the shield. Hmm. Okay, we're going to let it go through. Then we're going to farm down with my Togekiss. Togekiss. And then we should be okay. They have a metal metal. Okay, this will be a very long matchup. When it goes like this. And plus I have ancient power which still is good against walk. So this would take really long guys. Probably take like. I think this ba thing battle will be so long. That we'll have to have the timer on top. And to see. To see how long to end it. If it doesn't happen. Okay, we're not going to let anything go. We're not going to take a shield right now. We don't need to. If we get it on them, that's good. But we're not going to shield up our house right now. I need to boost right now because that will... See, like, Ancient Power does nothing to Melmetal. I don't think I'll be able to win this, guys. Because my Togekiss will have to take out Melmetal. And Melmetal is probably one of the best Pokemon to go against Togekiss. Togekiss. Poliwrath is almost down though. So if I can farm this down without him getting a walk slide. Then I should be able to win. Depends on his last Pokemon. Please. No he gets two on. Oh my god. Okay. We have to shield. We have to hope that his last Pokemon is like a fighting type. After the Poliwrath. Please. Fingers are crossed. Okay, the, here comes the Poliwrath. Fingers crossed. Please. Yes, it's off the goon. Okay, we can beat it with just the charms. We need something that's weak to Togekiss because the charms. Charm will be able to take it down. Night Slash. Cross Chop won't do anything. Gunk shot will kill me, so that is not good. This is a night slash, if I'm correct. Yep, that's the night slash. Won't even be close to killing me. Togukis is a tank against these dark types. A night slash, I believe it would be. As long as he doesn't have gunk shot ready. But I don't think he can with me. Okay. Take it out. That is GG's. We are really lucky that there was off the goon in the back because then I could charm it down. If it was like, um, hmm, if it was like an executor at the end, my flamethrower would be really good against it, but I'm afraid that my charm wouldn't be enough because they still had a shield, so. Hmm, caught a, okay. Just catch that. Okay. And then Carter, we need to catch right now. It's really naughty. Getting 
out of the ball. Oh my god. Okay. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Oh, check the IVs after. Do our final match of the day. Of Christmas. It's 7.55 p.m. So Christmas is going to be over in a couple of hours. I always like the start of Christmas, Christmas Day, but I don't like when it's over. Okay, this guy starts off with a swampert. Not purified though. Still pretty weak. So let's get a hydro cannon. Yes, we get it first. This is good. Okay, mirror match my... Whoever gets first usually is able to win, but since his CP is higher, it'll be hard. Muddy water. Oh no, that makes my attack fall. Well, it's 30%. Okay, he brings out an alone executor. Very interesting person I'm going against. We're not going to let it go through. We're going to let it go through. I said not going to go through, so I'm just making mistakes right there, guys. So don't mind that. Okay, we can just farm this thing down easy peasy. Let's see if we can get a flamethrower on his other guy. Which is a pyro. Okay. My Garotina can take on Swampert. So I'm just gonna bring out Swampert now. Show them how good he is. Okay, let's do as much damage with the charm. Hopefully he uses energy on me. Nope. Okay. Let's go into Garotina. We're just going to go Garotina. It's fine. We can take a flame charge, whatever it is. Trumpet could take it fine too, but... Yeah, Dark Pulse. That wasn't a very smart move of me. On my part. I haven't even seen Pyro's move yet, so. But mine does not have Dark Pulse, so. Actually, I don't even have a Pyro yet. I'm doing, I don't know why. Actually, no, it's because I'm doing that in my video. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of Evolves. So, yep. Okay, another Dark Pulse gone through. Now, this is the smart part. We have to get two hydro cannons here. He's one hydro cannon now. Should get off a shield. There's last shield, probably. Oh my god, lag. Oh, okay. Let's, oh, he has no shields and I have two. Okay, I won. After this, I can just go for a hot earthquake if I have to. Because the hydro cannons... They won't do anything to me because I have two shields. Okay, we win the last and final match, guys. I'll just show you what the IVs of Nankato is. And what we're going to give the wet candies to, okay. Okay, first we get the three wet candies. Oh, we're so close to rank 13. We get four wins, but that's not enough, I guess. Okay, first we'll give my rare candies to Dalmaka. Because I still don't have the evolve of it. I don't know why. I have a bunch of Dalmaka, but I don't have the Dalmanitan. Dalmaka... Okay, not. I need five more candies and then I'll be able to evolve Ninko. <laughs> Why did I say Ninkado? Um, Dalmaka. Okay, and then Ninkado we just got. We sent 408. Not going to be good IVs, I would assume. Yeah. Okay, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video... Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and bye!